when you're working outdoors, wouldn't it be nice to have one piece of equipment that does everything, you know, with the engine up here, but you can change out the heads? Well, we have our how-to videos, a special edition sponsored by Echo Outdoor Power Equipment, where Andy Sadlin, service manager at Florida Outdoor Equipment, is going to show us how we can change out these heads on this special piece of equipment here. Andy, tell us about it. What we have here is our PAS, our Pro Attachment Series, and uh, we've got one power head uh, series that's available, but you can change the bottom half of the shafts out. Yeah, correct? when we talk about power head, we're meaning with the engine down here the engine, and correctly. everything here comes off. Now, is this very hard to do? I mean, you need a lot of wrenches and stuff mm -hmm. like that? No, there's a tightening knob on here along with an alignment pin and okay. all we're going to simply do is pull out and twist I know you that like to put this pin. down on the ground, I think, yes. when you do it. Yeah. And then we're going to loosen up that knob. Mm -hmm. And once that knob is loose, the Just shaft pull will it out. fall right out. Wow, okay. and there's a drive portion right there. Correct. Yeah. And uh, in case you want to till, we can go ahead and get Ooh, our tiller yes. attachment. We've got a pl plastic cover on the shaft. We're going to go ahead and put that one on that okay. one to keep the cover debris out of it. Well, that's important. There we go. Put that right over there. And there is an alignment hole here that okay. lines up with our alignment pin. Okay, I think gonna... that's important that people know. There's a little yep. hole there that you're going to push this into, and then this has to go in there, yep. right? We're going to turn that locking pin back and rotate it a little bit, and that pin will pop into place. Okay, very Once easy. Once the pin's in place, we tighten the locking knob down. And we're ready to go. And away you go. How about that? You got the engine back there, and then you have the tiller here. Now, this would be good for small flower beds, yes. little vegetable garden areas. We like to do that, and maybe edging areas also. Correct. Now, this is just two pieces of equipment you can put on the end of this uh, power unit there. What else do we have? Well, here we've got our uh, power pruner attachment. This is a 10-inch cha chainsaw blade on here. Wow. Okay. It does yeah. have an adjustable automatic oiler okay. on there, so your okay. barn, your chain is being oiled as Very you're doing good. your trimming. So, Very good. But you reach, reach up high. Of course, there are more safety equipment you're going to want to use uh, with this, a hard hat, uh, okay. more than you'd use with uh, just trimming and yeah. stuff like that. Read the manual, folks. It's all there as far as the safety equipment. It's very important when using any of this equipment outdoors. We're going to show you a little bit of that equipment in just a minute here. What's the next one we have? This is a shaft hedge clipper, mm -hmm. a double-sided. Ooh, that looks blade. like you can do the job, that's yes. for sure. Yeah. So a lot of trimming, you could again get a far reach with this, mm -hmm. so you're not reaching out over hedges yeah. or reaching up really high. And again, that goes right on this unit here. You snap this pin out, you uh, take care of the unlocking nut there, put it together, and away you're out there pruning very quickly. Now, we do have to keep some of this sharp, right? Absolutely. And you can sharpen it. There is directions in the operator's manual on keeping it sharp, or you can take it to an authorized echo servicing dealer. And they can go ahead and sharpen it for you. Now, yes, we have right. one last piece over here. What do we got? This is our Pro Torque uh, Edger gearbox. Oh, so it's got a nice edger blade on there. Yeah, I like this here so it doesn't keep that St. Augustine up, straight. Yeah. And of course, I think of there. edging Asiatic jasmine also. <laughs> that likes to get out of control there. But it all just snaps together. It makes it very, very easy for us. So now, let's talk about safety a little bit, Andy. I think that's pretty important. Okay, whenever you're trimming, uh, we're going to want to wear safety glasses. Yeah. Uh, and they do come with the, got, each power head. I got to put these on. How I look there. Wow. <laughs> and then we do offer some, uh, some safety glasses. These are actually sunglass safety glasses. Yeah, those are neat looking when you're out there. Yeah. And we do offer, uh, with our owner's manual, a safety manual, I do suggest the operators do wear that. We're going to wear long pants with work boots when we're trimming. Uh, if we're working overhead, we might want to wear a hard hat, uh, especially if you're trimming with a chainsaw. Uh, gloves would yeah. be a good idea to I wear. I like those. Those are pretty. they got echo on the outside on there. I've got my special gift gloves right here. Look at that from my wife. There we are. How I look. Very good. All I need is a hard hat and I, I even like to wear my boots here. I kind of have a little rubber boot that I wear yeah. when I'm out there That'll work. in the landscape. So Andy, thank you very much for all this great advice. We've got one piece of equipment here. Now we can buy this separately or do we get it in a bundle or how's it come? We do offer the engine separately. You could also get it with the trimmer and the edger together. Uh, and in each individual attachment is separate. Good. Andy, thanks a lot. Andy Sadlin, we appreciate it very much. And for more how-to videos, visit hisandhersgardening.com.